Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and for the month of December, we are deciding to talk about gifts or various different fragrances that you can get. I've broken them down uh, in, uh, on categories. You can always go through my playlist of fragrance review or fragrance collection, which I have two different playlists uh, that kind of let you know some of the ones that we've talked about previously. Or you could just look on my channel, right? If you are a fellow subscriber that's come here, but you have not subscribed yet, you've just been kind of looking around, I hope that you go ahead and subscribe today. Uh, today's topic is going to be about sandalwood. I tried my best to use and pick fragrances that were sandalwood heavy, right? Not so much uh, fragrances that had sandalwood in it because you will find that people add vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli as a base to multiple fragrances. So I did try to pick one where it was sandalwood heavy. Uh, that sounds like something you're interested in hearing more about, then stay tuned. Okay, well, I don't want to hold you, but I do want to say that if I this is new and I'm first time coming up on your screen, hello and welcome. My name is Claudia Nari. I would love for you to subscribe and join the community. Uh, you can follow me on various different social medias, uh, or you can just follow me here on YouTube. If YouTube is where you get most of your information at, we do talk about various different fragrances that is in my collections, and I do allow all of my followers to give me some ideas of what they want to hear about. And if I have the fragrance, then I go ahead and I talk about it. Uh, but let's jump into it. Again, this is going to be about sandalwood. And I tried to choose fragrances that had were sandalwood heavy, right? So uh, I have two from the same uh, line, the same plan, brand, should I say. So I want to go with them first. Um, he's well known. This one here is well known for Natorita. Natorita, I always say it wrong, but I love that one. But this is not about that one. This is actually about sandalwood. And the brand name is Mason the Darius, right? And the very first one I want to talk about, uh, let's see, I want to make sure I say this name right. Because uh, he does use, um, and I love that about it. You know, he used various different um, Ethiopian, um, Nigerian names. Like, you know, he's really, he really does a lot for supporting that. So this one here is the first one. It's called uh, Nagest, I think it's called. Oh, Nagist, Nagist. And it is uh, Ethiopian, I could be saying that wrong, is Ethiopian for queen, right? So in this one here, you're going to get uh, apple, amber, jasmine, musk, uh, patchouli, peach, raspberry, rose, sandalwood, vanilla, and oud. Now what I do like is the oud that's in it is not like a heavy oud. Um, it probably could be just like argyle wood oud, but it's a nice fragrance if you want to kind of get into a uh, oud. But this is mostly sandalwood, like that more um, woodiness of sandalwood, not the creaminess, but like a woodiness of sandalwood. Uh, mostly on my skin, I get amber rose sandalwood. I do get the oud, so it is more of a cold weather scent for me. Um, the raspberry and the peach is uh, the top note, but if you want to get into oud, but you want it to be softened a little bit by some sandalwood, then I would get Nagist, right? And again, you know, it's always on the very bottom of the screen, the ones that I'm talking about. Uh, this one here is, again, is by Mason and Darius, and this one is called Yo... I want to make sure I'm saying it right. You know, let me see. You know, you know, I? yeah, you know, I'm sorry. It's your nor, your nore, your nore. And this is uh, what it means is well minded, beautiful thinker. So, this is of someone who is elegant and 
in intellectual, right? So that's where he was going with this one here. Now, the difference in this one is they both are strong in sandalwood for me. But this one wasn't as, it didn't have a fruity opening. This was amber, caramel, musk. Uh, it did have the oud and the sandalwood in it. Uh, but the difference is it's more jasmine, right? So there's the jasmine and the vanilla. But it's amber and jasmine and caramel and oud on my skin. And that is Unora. Unora. Yeah, I want to make sure that. <laughs> yeah, I mostly get amber, caramel, jasmine, yeah, and oud. Uh, the sandalwood in here is more of a supporting uh, person, supporting cast, but not so much. Um, it is sandalwood forward, but that oud in this one here. It's transitioning back and forth. So you're going to get oud, sandalwood, oud, sandalwood. So that's my take on this one here. Now, let's move into, if you haven't heard about that particular line, I will admit in the description, I would have a link to his page and it is Mason Adarius. Uh, I do have a video that I talked about a lot of them from the line that I was really fond of. Uh, but now that it's more cooler here in Texas, I can get into the more heavier uh, fragrances that he came out with and those are the two that I would reach for if I was looking for sandalwood uh, the next one I've talked about it before and I just really want people to know more about this one but this is kiss the moon by poetic aroma and the opening to this is must it's like a must note a saffron note but then there's like this fruity spiciness so you're going to get this uh strawberry is going to be in here um, oh God, it's, 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 I have to spray this one too. And I'm trying not to spray all of them here. Yes. It's this gorgeous saffron strawberry opening. And then as this one dries down, you're going to get more of that pepper and cinnamon and magnolia and uh, frankincense. Like it's, it's, it's myrrh. It's like a smoky sexiness to it right and then eventually as it becomes more because this is more of a close to your skin scent um it's not one of the ones that would be like in it like in in your face right this is a good oh what are you wearing type scent because it's like a beautiful scent bubble and that's also due to the coconut milk that's in it uh the rum the vanilla that sandalwood blends in beautifully with the cashmere wood that's in this fragrance. The amagris, the tobacco, there's tobacco. It says it has tobacco in it, but I would say for me, the tobacco is not predominant. This is more of a gorgeous, like I said, that strawberry opening is so, oh, it's so good. It's probably so many things that you can layer a strawberry fragrance with this one here, but that creamy sandalwood. The cashmere wood in that sandalwood, that just makes this like chef's kiss. I, I really am enjoying this one. I really am enjoying this. Yes. I think that's one of my favorite sandalwood fragrances. Now, this is one that's Old Faithful. You know, you always hear about this. For me, this particular fragrance, I put in the category of sandalwood uh because that's mostly what i get out of it it's a lot of other notes and i know you've heard people talk about it and that is cassili by uh perfume de Marlin. and it's the red current a lot of people talk about that red current the floral notes the with the rose and then the bit of plum and the frangipani right but for me it's all of that all that beautiful floral Ness, right the mimosa the like i said the bulgarian rose it's all of that the red currant but the dry down on this is vanilla bean tonka bean vanilla tonka bean and sandalwood and it's another one of those nice creamy sandalwoods not a really woody sandalwood in it but it just kind of takes it into a nice beautiful skin scent like like just chef's kiss type of i want to kiss you type fragrance that's what cassini is for me like you i want to lean in and give you a kiss 
but I it, it is I know a lot of people talk about that red current and the floral notes in it but I like it for the sandalwood and that's Kasili the last one that I have, um, and I got into this line actually for their Barack Van Vanilla one that they had. Uh, but while I was out getting that one, I went ahead and decided that I wanted to try this one here. And this is by Las, uh, Las Floros de, de Gofe, right? And it is Vanilla Alicantria. Or Contra Tia, I think. And I, again, it'll be under under here. This one is so... Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. I really thought when I got this one that it was going to be vanilla strong. But then it turned out to be uh, very good in sandalwood. Very gorgeous in the, in the praline. This was so much more than just a vanilla scent. So I was so happy that I did go ahead and get this one too. But the notes in it is bergamot, orange blossom, white sandalwood, um, a broxen. So this fragrance will be different on everyone because whatever your chemistry is, it makes that just so much better. And then it has, uh, it does have the vanilla and then you get the praline. But that sandalwood in this one here is almost like a light woodiness. It's not a creamy sandalwood. This is like a light woodiness of a sandalwood. But the Abroxin and that sandalwood blend was perfect together. So when they made this one and they blended those two notes, they did great. Like, I really enjoyed it. And this is called Vanilla Al Con Contia or Con Contara. It might be Contara. <sighs> Gorgeous fragrance. So these are my sandalwood fragrances that I wanted to reach out. And again, let's keep in mind, sandalwood is a note that is often placed into a fragrance to kind of give it a little more base and body. Uh, but this particular video was about my sandalwood fragrances that were sandalwood heavy. Like you can smell the sandalwood. It wasn't just a base note. If you know of another gorgeous sandalwood fragrance, then please tell me about it in the comments. Share it with us. Uh, comment, 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 thumbs this video up. It lets YouTube know that you like what I am putting out. I hope with all the videos that I am putting out, I've given y'all great ideas for the holiday season to do as gifts uh, or even for yourself, right? I am truly enjoying this. So on that note, I'm going to bid you a wonderful night, a wonderful day. Whenever it was that you got an opportunity to watch this video, I hope you subscribed. And I will see you in the next video.